Hi Cancer, how are you? How are you my crabs? Said <laughs> no one ever, <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, hi Cancer, what's up? We are gonna be doing, oh, Three of Pentacles, working away, working away on that foundation, King of Swords. All right, you're talking to calm down. Um, let me finish my intro. So I was saying, I love crabs. Uh, <laughs> we are going to be doing your end of October reading, but like I always say, do not do, do not get attached to timelines because I mean, time is so irrelevant and honestly, it does not exist. Whenever you come across mm, Queen of Swords, remember we had King of Swords, uh, Swords earlier? Three of Wands. We had Three of Pentacles. Okay, okay. Leading into my point, everything's connected. So whenever you click on this reading or you come upon it, if it's not October 2020, it does not matter. It is meant for you. Maybe you need to hear something in this, right? There's a message for you. So please don't get attached to time zones or, you know, just a page of wands, five of swords, you know, time, feminine, um, masculine energies, gender cards. Don't not throw all that away out the window. It goes, sit back. Let's have some fun and see what's going on. Let's just dive in. Cancer. Now, I love cancers. Fun fact. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, Svetlana, these are not fun, let alone fun. But, nine of ones, queen of cups. Um, oh, there is you. Cancer. Um, fun fact. My first love was, in fact, a cancer. Yeah. First love. I think he was a cancer. No, I'm kidding. No, no, definitely a cancer. I, I love my cancers. You guys are awesome. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Matter of fact, I am, oh, seven of swords. <laughs> I am dead, uh, 10 of swords. I am a cancer in Venus. So we're like this, basically. You know what I'm talking about. We love that comfort. We love our home, family. We're just, we're just loving bundle of crab. And when I say crab, oh my gosh, Jesus Christ, maybe not today. <laughs> Nine of swords and four of cups. What's going on? What was I thinking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> crab cakes. I love crab cakes. I love crab cakes. All right, let's get it popping. Let's get it going for my cancer, please. I will be doing a Celtic cross spread. So yeah, we'll clarify, we'll dig in, we'll have fun. Don't take life seriously. Don't take these readings seriously. We're here for a short time. Not a good time. No, <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord. Let's go for my cancer. Thank you. Den of Swords again. I think it wants to talk. Oh, Ace of Pentacle. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> Two of Wands. Yeah, I know, Cancer. I know. I'm in Venus with you there, but you know I'm going to go with Ten of Swords. You know my curious beaver. I'm a curious. Wow. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, everything I'm saying is just coming out weirdly. But you know what I mean. Um, curi where is it? Curiosity killed the cat, so let's go. Nine of swords, uh, ten of swords. Ten of swords, let's go. Not a bad card, end of cycle, so calm down. And let's get going. I did. I told you. I told I looked straight at you and I said not a bad card because guess what? Ace of Cups. Ace of freaking Cups is on top. Let's keep. Queen of Cups. We saw that in the uh, shuffle. Nice, nice, nice. 
Sun card. Get out. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Seven of, uh, seven of Cups. Okay. Okay. Definitely an awesome reading here. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Leo, Aries. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. We saw that earlier. Wheel of Fortune. Yes. I haven't seen this card in, in quite a while. The Fool. Freaking your outcome is the Fool. It's the Fool right next to Wheel of Fortune. Thank God I went for this. <laughs> I spoke too soon. But calm down, crabby pants seven of swords is your overall energy but that's probably to do with ten of swords so you know why i'm not even worried about this card because we go from seven of swords to ten of swords which is completion right so yes you might be in the overthinking thoughts because this is not like someone's deceiving you just yet right this could be self-deception and looking from here, I ain't seeing any tower moments. I'm not seeing anything that is gonna is telling me someone's like out there cheating, backstabbing you, right? Until we clarify. So right now, I'm gonna go with you're getting out of um, this energy because you got a cycle completion. And guess what? You got an ace of freaking uh, cups here. On top, we got uh, Queen of Cups. You're in this beautiful, beautiful, patient, loving. Oh my God! You're this is this is you. You're in a beautiful, patient energy. <clears throat> when I say energy, best card in the deck, the Sun. Yes, yes. All right. What are we holding on to, though? That's what I want to know because you are assessing right now. You're in your shell, in your crab shell, <laughs> metaphors, you're in your crab shell right now, assessing your ten of swords. This is not easy. This is end of cycles, but when I say cycle, you know, this is like, oh, you've been through stuff, right? He, he looks, <laughs> he looks out of it. He's dead. So I know you've been through stuff. So right now. Right now, you're closing out a cycle, and look what's opening up. Oh, you got all these options with the sun, right? Happiest card in the freaking deck. So you're taking your time right now. You're thinking, where should I put my energy? Where? Page of Wands, new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, right? And there's an emperor right there looking straight at you, straight at you. And you're like, oh, oh, should I put my energy into this emperor? Because I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, your overall energy is the fool. So you're going to be making some silly choices. You're making some silly choices right now, but you know why it's okay? You know why it's okay to have this childlike innocence of like, ooh, curiosity. Ooh, what if I go for him? What's going to happen? You know why it's fine to do this right now? Because you got a wheel of freaking fortune on your um on your end you got good luck so honestly honestly all these cups yes i know everyone's like oh but you know like six of those cups are filled with you know what right only one cup is like good what is good you know what i mean that's such a like gray area because i i mean any cup you pick there's gonna be a lesson in it there's gonna be forward movement in it right so it doesn't really matter does it and life you know life is all about choices you can't pick one and be like oh well if i would have picked that cup that would have happened no you're not nostradamus you don't know what would have happened right so whatever cup you pick is your cup so don't overthink it right you know why i'm saying don't overthink it because you're holding on to something right now you're clenching on to something so instead of going for this emperor right here I don't know what you're claiming. We're going to have to clarify. But you're being a little crabby. You're a little, you're being a little crabby. 
So let's clarify before, you know, we go deeper. Let's do four of pentacles, please, for my cancer. Four of pentacles for my cancer. Four, ooh, four of pentacles. Four of pentacles for my cancer, please. Thank you. Yeah, okay. On the bottom of the deck, we got temperance card. Okay, six of cups. If you guys are familiar with the little tarot readings, six of cups does mean reconciliation with the ex, past love. So, clear cut, need I say more, right? That is what you're holding on to. The idea of you getting back together with someone. But may I remind you that this energy is connected to this energy. And do we really want to go back to Seven of Swords, which is lies, deception, not being honest? Because it's clearly telling me you already finished the cycle. So what in the God's name are you holding on to when you got all these new cups? Ye the universe is saying, hey, here's a bunch of cups. Go wild. Go. We. Look, the universe is like, yo, I got fortune. Like, I got good luck. Whatever cup you pick, bam. Bam. Let go of that temperance balance. It's going to balance you out, these new endeavors. Let's see these cups. Seven of cups for my cancer, please. Seven of cups for my cancer. Because nothing new is going to, did you see that pop out? Nothing new is going to come in if you're holding on this crab tight claw-like thing to those pentacles, those memories. You can't live in the past. That's your ego mind. And we got to get over that hurdle, right? Here we go. Seven of Cups. Clarify by Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, and King of Swords. Tell you what. Seven of Cups, you're in your head right now. Uh, yeah. Seven of Wands, you're in your head right now. You don't know what to do. You don't, because look, there is a cup full of love here. Page of Cups. And I know you're saying, oh, well, it's not a King of Cups. But guess what? It's still a new beginning in love. You don't even need a King to pop out here. Well, I mean, it did, but this is a King of Swords. That's you. We'll get to this a little later. You don't need a king to pop out to be like, oh, this is a great offer. Why? Because you got a freaking ace of cups. You already have an ace of cups here. This is new. Both are new beginnings in love, right? So, and I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's an emperor around you or coming in soon. Either you know of him already or it's like literally one step. As soon as you take a new round, you got two new beginnings here. You got Ace of Wands, uh, Page of Wands, which is a passionate new beginning, and you got a loving new beginning, Page of Cups. So this is the Seven of. It's just clarifying. Look how many new beginnings you have with these pages. Pages are new beginnings. Cups are new beginnings. So you have choices. I'm whispering, let this go, right? Because you, like, you know how you open a cupboard? You got so many cups. You're in a freaking cup store. Is there a cup store? Bed, bath, and beyond? And look, king of um, swords popped out. That's you right now. You went through this ten of swords, right? And what happens when you end the cycle? waiting for an answer uh, this is like a blues clues blues clues and then you answer what happens when you go oh my god i'm you can guess my age by that reference what happens when you end the cycle and not a good one knowledge kings are knowledge you get experience you get knowledge and you're sitting on that freaking throne of knowledge you're not messing around anymore that's why you're taking a second and looking at all your options, right? But also remember, 
Don't be too critical. Don't overanalyze everything. Balance it out because you're also queen of cups, right? You're also queen of cups. Oh, nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. You're uh, masculine and feminine energies. Find a balance, right? Lead with your heart and your mind, but find a beautiful balance. Because you don't want to overthink these cups. When you overthink, you know when the universe knocks? Here, here's an example. I'll act it out for you, right? This is the universe. Knock, knock. Here's, um, here's a bunch of cups, right? Here's opportunities in love. And one of them is the emperor. If you're sitting here as the king, all grumpy and like critical and, you know, overanalyzing in your head with your seven of wands, you know, you know what the universe is going to do? The universe is going to be like, all right, well, they don't want this offer right now or they're not ready. So it's going to be la, 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 bye. And then what, it, what you're left with, uh, what, you know? I don't know what you're left with. These cups, you're still staring at the freaking window shopping. You know, you're still staring. So go for it. Because once again, we got clarification. It doesn't matter what cup you get. Your look is crazy good here. You got the happiest card in the freaking deck. Come on. The sun. You got, you got major arcanas. The sun. The fool. Emperor, someone stable, someone maybe older in power, someone that, you know, that can balance you out too. Because you're, you're solid. You're a queen right now. He's an emperor. Sounds freaking good to me. But this, I don't think an emperor wants you with your old pentacles, right? No one wants that. You don't want that. More, more importantly, you don't want that. So let's see what this um, emperor is about. <laughs> emperor is about. In your near future, the emperor. Please, emperor, for my cancers. I'm telling you, this emperor is just sitting in one of the cups. And you don't want to overthink popped out cancer 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 if this was any more yellow i would get blinded by the beautiful energy from these three freaking cups page of pentacles nine of pentacles and king of pentacles all right well let's do a little math here now one two three pages all new beginning, all new love, um, stability, passionate. The universe is literally, the universe is literally like, pick a cup, any cup. Silly. This is silly. Cancer, luck is so on your side. Anywhere you, any cup you grab is beautiful. Because look, these cups are going to lead to stability, you're gonna grow. Nine of pentacles, right? Look at her, she's abundant. Don't get attached to gender. She's abundant. She's in her garden, she's stable. Sure, she doesn't even need the emperor. Let's forget about the emperor. She's working on herself. You know, look around, it's green, yellow. Look, yellow screams beauty nurturing um abundance right health and look you got the sun card just over it giving it energy making you grow shine level up you're leveling up here with every cup you level up you level up and what happens then king of pentacles king of freaking pentacles you're so we got two kings here. You got abundance, you got clarity, and you got a uh, freaking the fool. So you're stable enough to make these out, you know, heart decisions. So focus on your queen of uh, cups. Focus on your heart. And cancer, we all know. Come on, we all know you. You're one of the the most loving signs. 
You love to love. You love. You're gentle. You're patient. So leave with the heart for now. It's telling you, yes, you've been hurt. Yes, you've been hurt. But it's okay, right? It's okay because you learned. You're coming up as kings. Knowledge everywhere. We got, we just, we got, you freaking graduated. You got a PhD in this love thing. And it wasn't easy. No, <laughs> I mean, getting a PhD is not easy. But you made it. You closed out a cycle. And now the universe is like, okay, I see you. I see you, Cancer. Here's what you deserve. Ace of freaking cups. Here's an emperor if you if you want it, obviously. And it's saying best of luck. Because luck is on your side. Let go. Let go. You know what I mean? Why? Why? So thank you so much, Cancer. I wish you the best of luck. This has been fantastic. Very like um go lucky you know what i mean very abundant and just choices choices and choices are great oh and always express gratitude you know and we forget that always express gratitude for what we have for what doors uh, are being open and you know freaking page new beginnings pick one it, it's up to you Thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me. This has been wonderful. Ah! So if you like this reading, um, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment. I would love to hear from you if this resonated. If not, leave a comment. Why not? I'll give it a heart. Um, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We have fun here. New readings come in. Bang, bang, bang. And on that note, <laughs> thank you so much and namaste.